Hey everyone, uh, we're going to keep going on sales forecasting today. Um, we're going to get into a screen share and when you forecast, obviously you're normally forecasting items over a period, but you want to forecast other things. You might want to forecast by customer group, by geography, by salesperson, by various different uh, attributes. And we're going to go into that. So it's, we're going beyond the two dimensions. So in standard NAV, you have items as uh, lines and as columns you have period uh, so this could be here coffee uh, mug and over the period you have january february march april something like that uh, but what if we want to categorize also customer group so i'm just going to call it cg uh, small uh, medium and large and you want to uh, say how much you're going to be selling off a coffee mug in January for small customers so that's a little bit tricky because we only have a two-dimensional screen but we're putting in three-dimensional information so what we have to do is fix we can fix January in place and look at across small medium large out uh, and you'll see that in the application, it's going to look a lot better than I can't draw it three dimensions very well. So or four or five. I don't know if anybody can do that. But in the system, we can definitely show you how that works. So let's take a look. All right, let's dive into the system again. We're going to go into sales budgets. And um, take a look at the sales forecast that we had created kind of get a little bit deeper into it so if i go into process edit budget i get on the um, y axis i get all of the items and out across on the x axis i have period and i can say what's show us lines and show us columns so the lines are items columns are period and <clears throat> if i change that for example I could come in here and say, I want to see a uh, customer group as, as lines. Uh, I'm sorry, as columns. And then you can see that we have three different customer groups here as columns. And I can change that back into wanting to see period. And then I have the period. Uh, actually, it filters on one quarter but I'm going to just change that so 0101 19 to 123119 so I don't know if you noticed but when we actually filtered on a particular uh, customer group or we changed into different customer groups uh, the uh, amounts that we had typed in here they disappeared so and that's kind of the tricky thing of using this system is that you have to when you're actually s s inputting the item uh, the amounts in here you have to have all the filters set or all the parameters set when you put in the amounts so what does that mean um, what I'm gonna do is actually take oops, take away these amounts for the item and I'm gonna re key them in and using customer group so I'm just going to start out by using January. And in January, I want to budget both the coffee mug and the uh, coffee beans, coffee, uh, the packaged coffee beans. And I want to do it for January for every single um, customer group. So how do I do that? I first of all, I'll change the, um, the date here to only reflect January. So I'm only looking at January right here. And then I am going to change show us columns into customer group like that. So I'm already filtering on January. The system knows that here and I can put in the customer group. So I'm going to say for large, it's going to be 1500 medium. It's going to be 1000. And small, it's going to be 500. And for packaged coffee beans, 
it's going to be 2000 uh 1500 and 750 we're targeting larger clients so now i have categorized them out this is for january and you can see the total is here so if i now change it to take a look at period uh, now i can see that it totals it up and i can just take out the filter here and just put it for the whole year like that now i see the whole year and you can see that it actually um, breaks it up so so it's putting the total for each one of the um, customer groups and you can see here if i drill into the details that it has the actual um, entries in the details so it's now can be viewed by item by customer group and by period so it's three-dimensional and the, the tricky thing since we're actually inputted in like this um, is that we are working with more than two dimensions so you can't just make do with this matrix you have to fix a point and i actually fixed the date and i worked with the customer group so i can show you again how that works if i just put in the january date uh, and this by the way works oops works really well in, uh, in reporting so we're report, when we're reporting actually actual to budget it so do like this show columns hit customer groups and now they come out like that uh, so hey how do we actually create our own dimensions maybe we can take a look at that in the next video